you mentioned, uh, probably, I can't say one is the most critical, but this is probably the most critical. Uh, you mentioned coilovers. Yes. So coilovers are pretty important in not only getting the stance, you know, that everyone likes, that looks cool, in all around performance. Uh, it gets you kind of that you know, low squat stance, uh, lowering the center of gravity on the car. They have coilovers where uh, the bottom is not adjustable, so they're not really height adjustable. So you're gonna want one where that bottom mount spins up and down, as well as adjustable preload. So that'll have like a seat for the spring and both those adjustments. Most coilovers sold these days have them, but that you can still find super cheap ones. Yeah, if you can't, <laughs> if you can't thread the shock body up and down, I mean, yeah. you're gonna kind of be stuck with whatever length the coilover was built to from the factory. Yeah, most of them do come with compression rebound adjustment. That's just the little knob on top. Adjust both at the same time. That's more than good for starting out. If you get like a nice set uh, like feel, like those are, those are mm -hmm. our favorite coilovers. Even they're like one way compression rebound, those guys using those in pro. So not necessary for getting started though. Like we use, I don't even know what the brand of those were on the Lexus, but they're like 500 bucks. Yeah, for a whole set. Yeah, so super cheap, and they've been more than awesome. That's, now, that's gonna do a lot of what sway bars would do. So sway bars actually wasn't on our list because you can get most of what you need out of the coilovers when you're just getting started. And there's other critical mods that you're gonna wanna spend your money on before you go and do sway bars. Well, and I feel like most factory cars kind of come with some sort of anti-sway or sway bar already. All right, so yeah, coilovers, almost you can't drift without them. Like, I mean, you can, but very, very critical. Next one is you need a diff. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you definitely need something that's going to allow the rear tires to spin together and at the same time welding up whatever diff you have or finding a car that has a pretty capable limited slip in it. And that that's something that's interesting. Like a lot of people think, oh, you need a locker, you need a welded diff right off the bat. We've used LSDs in a lot of our cars, like the our C33 Laurel. Um, that was LSD forever. I think there was a, a viscous LSD yeah. that we would just, they were so cheap, those R200. Instead of fixing them, we would just throw it in the trash and <laughs> get another one for a couple hundred bucks and just keep going. If you don't have all the equipment to weld, look around, especially if you're in an S chassis, C or R chassis, they all use R200s as well as the 350Zs. <laughs> well, and if you're working on a budget, then it's yeah certainly an easy way to go. Manual transmission. Sure, yeah. Uh, as we've shown in a couple of our videos as, as well, um, you can drift an automatic. Well, the clutch kick is like such an important tool or technique, whatever you want to call it. And you just can't do that with an automatic. No. There's like really no way. Kind of sticking with suspension and drivetrain, uh, steering angle. Most cars, they don't come with a lot of steering angle. So you're gonna need to do something to modify them. You wanna get somewhere to like 40 degrees minimum, I would say. Yeah. Like that's really gonna serve you well. Most cars are coming with like 24 to 30 degrees, so it's just not enough. Next one would be tires. If you have crappy front tires, <laughs> they're just gonna slide. Brakes are yeah. super critical in racing and drifting. For the rear, it's more than okay to go with your bodega cheap used tires. For the front though, spend that little bit of extra money. Kind of a safety measure too. <laughs> Definitely, you don't so. want to go flying off the track sideways uh, <laughs> at 40 miles an hour. Like, well, if you're it, not, but... okay, like, if you're not competing, sure. Yeah. There's definitely some decent seats out there. Don't have, you know, all the certifications for competition. We're still safe enough to, you know, go out to your weekend drift events yeah. and mess around in. Speaking of seat, how are you going to strap yourself in? Definitely, definitely need a harness five point seat belt or six point which is super critical i definitely like you said a five or a six point is necessity like you, you know. we were just looking i think you can get one for like 70 bucks get some kind of cage this is a big deal of mine so behind I, I, the am, times. I am amazed that you can go to an event and you can go out there and the only thing that you cannot do without a roll cage is tandem so we we would say at the very minimum i would like to tell you guys to get a six point with door bars. If we're doing cheap mods and it's as cheap as possible, at least get a four point bolt in that's gonna give you that roll bar. It's gonna protect you when you roll over. If you can spend a little extra money, get a six point, get some door bars. 
at the very least, just get a four point cage. Yeah. Stick it inside. Some steering wheels are gonna work okay, but for the most part, I, for myself personally, just, I don't find that the stock steering wheels are in the right spot. And so I now you've, you've buckled yourself in, you got a good seat, you're not going anywhere. Um, it's actually gonna yeah. be smarter to get rid of that airbag. If you go too cheap on a steering wheel, um, they've been known to bend slash brake. If you're, if you're comfortable where you're sitting and you're not um, reaching for things or, um, you know, not able to grab things when you need to, uh, you're gonna, you're gonna drive a lot better. Okay, and sticking with, um, since we're inside the car, you want to have something to put the fire out on your legs. Especially <clears throat> if we're doing cheap cars. I, I, I want to say, I want to tell you guys to go through and fix wiring and things like that, but I know you guys aren't going to. Um, you definitely need to have an extinguisher of some sort. Man, eBay's got these super cool, quick, nice looking billet pieces for like 30 bucks. And that's so overlooked, but like you guys spend all this time and money, blood, sweat, and tears pouring into your cars, and then it could just burn down at any moment. And it's like 50, 100, whatever it is. You've got no experience it... in that, right? No. Oh, I do. Oh, stop, Brad. It's horrible. <laughs> and we had a good system. We had a, we had an actual extinguisher system. Just get a fire extinguisher. Let's move on. The kind of last thing inside is handbrake. Um, if you watch some of the how to drift videos, we talk a lot about not using your handbrake for a long time, but eventually you are gonna use it. It is an awesome tool. Uh, stock handbrakes usually do work great, believe it or not. Um, you're just gonna go in and tighten everything as much as you can. Really one of the last things is, believe it or not, good shoes. Take your Yeezys off. We don't want any Jordans. Osiris D3s. The, the biggest <laughs> shoes that were ever produced. The dad shoes are making a comeback. We love them, but they're horrible for driving, guys. You don't need racing or driving shoes as great as they are. Vans <laughs> are one of my favorites. I think that's what we yeah. are always wearing. We're always driving in vans. Yeah. So, helmet. That's critical. Absolutely. Um, that's a cheap mod, not for your car, but for you. Um, get something that is FIA. Just don't mess around. Don't get a DOT or something like that. I see so many guys doing that. We're wearing a motocross helmet. It's, it's saving your it's, life. It's your melon. Without your brain, you're not going to be doing any more drifting. Just get a goddamn helmet, okay? So we appreciate all the love you guys have given us so far. Uh, please hit that subscribe button. Check out our other videos. Leave us some feedback, good or bad. We read it all. And uh, we'll see you guys in a couple days.